90s entertainment is the best and most memorable entertainment of all time. No decade beats the 90s when it comes to entertainment. I mean everything from memorable blockbuster movies to memorable TV shows that we watched as kids to cheesy yet really memorable and cool music is just a level above all other decades. And I think the most impressive entertainment part of the 90s was 90s gaming. I mean, nothing beats 90s gaming. There was a certain magical charm to it that just cannot be recreated now. It's long gone and all we have is the memories. The 90s wasn't archaic gaming. It wasn't like a little dot fighting a little circle. I think the 90s were like the middle ages of gaming. Like, no new game coming out today is gonna be better than the games we grew up with in the 90s. It might have better graphics, controls, whatever, but it's missing that 90s spirit, that chemical X that you just cannot quantify. One of the problems with gaming in the 90s was the fact that most games, like 99.9% .9 of games for almost any system, had one or two players. I mean, what happens when it's a group of friends all together hanging out, say three or four people? I mean, what game should you play? Later on in the 90s, towards the end of the 90s, party games did start to become popular, like on the Nintendo 64, but for like 99% of the 90s, there really wasn't much in terms of like more than two player gaming. There were a few games, I guess like Monopoly or something, yeah, it's my turn, pass the controller, you know, something like that. Playing games that are more than two players was a big thing. You needed to get like a special multi-tap and you know, as a kid, a 10 year old, you don't even know what that is. You, you would never know what that is. Like buying additional hardware to connect to your console so you can put in more controllers. Like kids don't know about that. A an adult would need to know about that and buy it for their kids. And that doesn't normally happen, you know, what happens is kids ask adults for something. Adults don't go out of their way to say, hey, you need one of these to play some four-player games with your friends? And it's not like that many games were compatible with different multi-taps for various systems like the Genesis, PlayStation, or Super Nintendo. Uh, most of the games that were like four-player or something were just sports games or some kind of wrestling or fighting game. Like the meat and potatoes of gaming just wasn't more than two players. And that was a big problem. I mean, what do you do when four friends are hanging out and you're playing like Battletoads versus Double Dragons or Golden Axe or Streets of Rage 2? Well, obviously, you have to take turns, and that's horrible. I was a polite kid, probably too polite for my own good, especially because I grew up in Brooklyn. I mean, 90s Brooklyn wasn't like hipster 2013 Brooklyn. It was like a dog-eat-dog, kind of tough place to grow up. I don't think you can afford to be a nice, sweet boy with chubby red cheeks when you're living in the world of the warriors. You know, it's not like I grew up in some small town in Minnesota where everyone was nice. If I'm nice, I'm not gonna get to play. It was hard to come up with a system when four people are together playing games or like the worst part is when there's something like a birthday party and there's a dozen people no one is gonna enjoy a game for any length of time you sit down to play for two minutes it's someone else's turn it's worse than the arcades because you can't just put in another quarter and play right away you have to wait 15 minutes for everyone else to play too best guy that beats everyone he just keeps playing because he keeps winning but if it's like a beat-em-up or something or any other two-player game like how do you decide who plays when like do you play for five minutes do you play for a level do you play until you die do you play until you reach a certain score so whenever a bunch of my friends and me got together I never got to play games. I rarely ever got to play any games. I mean, I think the only time I really got to really sit down and play a good chunk of a game when I was gaming with my friends in the 90s was when I actually brought the game. Because that was an unwritten rule. If you're the one that brings the game, you play first. If it's two player, if it's one player, whatever the case may be, you play first. Of course, today, most any game is online. You don't even need friends anymore. You don't need social interaction. You just log on to the game server and you're automatically playing with like 10 random guys from Croatia. Damn it, Ivan, stop humping my corpse. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.